Hello and welcome to ABYC TV. Today we're going to install an ELCI. It's an equipment leakage circuit interrupter. It's kind of like a bathroom GFCI, but for whole boat protection. What you can see here is we now have exposed our shore power in and our load side of our AC electrical system on our project boat. You'll see at this point we have our black, our hot, our white, our neutral, and a green, our ground. And we have the corresponding colors on the load side as well. We're going to walk through crimp crimping on ring terminals on both sides and then putting the load side through the toroidal transformer on our ELCI. You'll see it tells us exactly what to do here. We put our neutral and our hot through here and we'll explain how that works in a bit. Okay, so at this point we've already talked about the fact that this is our incoming, so this is our line. We're going to heat shrink and butt connect each one of these conductors. So put it in, give it a twist, fit snugly, then we will go ahead with our crimping tool, give ourselves a good crimp. And we're going to repeat that for every other conductor we have coming in on the boat. I like to use the heat shrink with the, the goo inside. It's got a glue that is activated by heat. So you'll see when it finally actually takes and shrinks up to the size we need, there's a little bit of glue that comes out on both ends. I just think it adds to a little more quality connector. Now, of course, when you're doing this, make sure you're not in a gasoline engine space. This boat happens to be a diesel, but we are well ventilated and not concerned. While we're taking a look at our load side and we have our stripped wires ready to go, I did not crimp them yet because I want to be able to fit them through what we call a toroid on the back of the ELCI. The way an ELCI works is it senses the differentiation in current between the hot and the neutral. In an AC circuit, the exact same amount should be going up or down the black wire and back the return wire, our neutral. If there is a differentiation between the two, the ELCI will sense the difference and expect that it is going somewhere else, generally down the ground wire. It does not sense the ground wire. It senses the difference between these two conductors, and that's what the toroid transformer is for. Blue C's in their instruction manual recommends that we twist the black and the white before we insert it into the toroid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We've given ourselves a generous amount of cable here. We are now twisted. And I'm going to insert through this side. And retrieve it on this side. And now I'm ready to go ahead and put my ring terminals on. All right. And at this point, we're ready to go ahead and hook our terminals up. Here's our hot on our line side. Here's our neutral on our line side. You also notice that this unit incorporates a reverse polarity indicator, which you can see all the extra wiring that accompanies that feature as well. and our load side. All 
All right, so now our ELCI is wired. What Blue Seas has provided us here is a bus bar for our grounds. So we have our line coming in, our ELCI panel ground, and we have our load going out. So we've connected them since we have plenty of room, each has its own screw. And they are connected and crimped just in the way the ELCI is. Now let's take a look at our ELCI. We have our load side going through the toroid. It is twisted. Notice we do not have the ground running through there. That is extremely important. And we also have our line side coming in. Neutral to neutral, hot to hot. So we're ready to go ahead and install this in our panel.